Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's who just first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 215 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the challenger, Bulldog. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance right behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. 
Right hand landed. Big head kick land. <laughs> Just out of range with the big right hand. Nurmagomedov gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And now he's got the tie clinch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Head kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Nurmagomedo. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. 30 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Some nice back and forth action here. That's a good strike right there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, flipped him with the left. Blocks the shot. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice slip to avoid the left. Let me see that hook now. Trying to kick the leg out. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? So the tallest fighter lands a flush knee. And that left hook landed on the button. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size, but he's beautiful leg kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Ooh, what a punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, you don't want to say Khabib is falling in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Big kick lands. Lands to the body there. Just a slip there. Nurmago Medov going for the leg kick, he misses. Big punch lands. Ooh. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just misses with the jab. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. That kick blocked by Nurmago Medov. Look how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nurmago Medov gets tattooed by that straight punch. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, you will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. All right, so what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landed those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different, or this fight is not going to last much longer. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way.
nice punch lands over the top. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well placed kick there by Nurmagomedov. Nice counter shot there. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Goes to the body there. Real quick leg. Try to establish that jab. Nice, sneaky head kick. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Oh, nice land there by Nermato Manoff. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. That's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Missed with that attempt. Hold your ground. I need you to go forward. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Another shot lands upstairs. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Just misses there with the left. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Not there. Nice straight punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Right hand upstairs. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, nice jab by Nermago Meta. Single collar tie now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Protect your face. Is up. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And they separate. Thank you. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. How good is that right here? Right.
All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round Ready? gets underway. The previous round will be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Unable to connect there. Yeah. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Nice loop and punch. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Back to clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head. Of the clinch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big leg kick lands. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Ooh wee! Ooh wee, what a right hand by this young man. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Magomedov's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one and it gets blocked. Sneaky head kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Wow. There's the kick, it's blocked. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nermago Medoff. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Great punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice head kick. Big power shot there. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. Oh, man, head kick lands. Nice strike. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. A little single collar tie there. Nice uppercut by the champion. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Twenty seconds 
left. Oh, that's a nice strike. He's able to slip the left there. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Well, you can feel that Green's octagon side after the swing and a miss by Nermago Metal. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stick. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next one. Nice punch, man. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. You'll probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. More than one, more than one. Punches and punches. There's no give on that leg kick. Straight punch land. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. serious right punch and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Connects with a right. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. All right, single collar tie now. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Now connects with a right. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Look at the force behind that leg. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Visibly limping here. Nermago Medov's kick, that one blocked. Clipped him with the right hand there. Beautiful kick. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Mago Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Medov gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Nice punch land over the top. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Nice leg kick land. Oh, he lands another punch there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it, champ. What a tricky head kick. Marco Medov strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Beautiful body kick. Pretty significant well to the left side. Forty-five.
five seconds remain in the round. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. when he throws that body kick. Just missed on the front kick there. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, look at that jab. Snaps his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Ooh, big shot land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Back and forth we go. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Nice one, two there. He can't even, he can barely stand. Oh, misses with the jab. Flipped with a right hand counter. There's no tell on that leg kick. Blocks the shot. It's okay, keep going, keep going. Such a fast leg kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice kick landed there by Nermago Meta. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big body kick. Punch over the top. Nice body kick lands. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Nice. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Right on the button. Nurmago Menov going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Let's get busy with those hands oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Nice kick. Oh, big head kick lands. Look 
look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Block that kick to the body. It's a good right hand right there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Under one minute remains in round five. Nice kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Back and forth we go. And there comes the separation now. Oh, inside kick. 20 seconds left. Throws the right hand there. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Waning seconds of this fight. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, what a title fight it was. What a showcase it was for this division. But at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more and you got to think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib Nurmagomedov. And still, the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured. weeks ago, I'm gonna purchase some things that I know when I feel my needs. The dose of what I've achieved and get lonesome and I critique who I 